Good morning! It's Ikea day! I'm excited. Uh, update time. So we got all three of the desks out. Downstairs, I actually already sold one on Facebook, so that's great. So this morning, I need to pretty much just remeasure over here, vacuum and stuff. But I want to go ahead and double check how much space I have left. And I pretty much already know what I'm going to get from there. I have been on their website many, 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 many times. So I need to go throw my kids at school, go pick up my mother-in-law and drive out to the middle of nowhere and go to Ikea for the first time. So crossing my fingers, I don't get overwhelmed, forget what I need to actually purchase and sort of stay within this budget number that I kind of have in my mind. So I will catch up with you guys um, in, in another up update. And of course, this one's mad because there's no desk for her to lay on right now. So, um, I may or may not try to film while we're, um, we're at Ikea. Obviously, if you guys see footage of Ikea, I was successful. So, see you guys later.
Another update, I, so in my time, the same day that I went to Ikea, pretty much that night after I got my kids settled down into bed, I started building stuff and I'll show you guys how far I got. I was not able to, like I was motivated to keep going, but I wasn't able to actually keep going because the last part of those Alex drawers, you need a hammer and it does make a lot of noise getting these like plastic, um, kind of like a screw, but you just basically hammer them in. And I did one and it was really loud and I was like, I don't want to wake my kids up. And then uh, this morning I went and volunteered at the kids' school, so I just got done with that. So I'm going to kind of, I think today my goal is going to be to try and finish up the drawer units because I really need to get them done to figure out um, how the desktops line up and then where I need to put the legs. So I kind of, I need to lay everything out and figure out what I'm going to do for that. And then between, you know, between all that, I need to pop in and it's Thursday in my time. So I still need to, um, clean my bathrooms and do a couple of the laundry. It's, I try to do the same things on certain days just so that things don't get too backed up. But, um, this week, pretty much, <laughs> there's just, I have too much going on and I'm doing this in the middle of it because, you know, that's what smart people do. So I am going to go ahead, flip this around, give you guys kind of an update and show you what I have going on. Okay, so the Alex drawers come in this just awkward box and I think it says on here they're 56 pounds each. I got one of them halfway up my stairs. I have these ridiculous S-shaped stairs. I got one of them halfway up the stairs and then the rest I opened in my garage, took half of it out, carried a, a half full box and then my daughter actually, um, you guys would have already seen, she helped me carry up um, a lot of these like little drawer pieces for me so she helps me with stuff. So last night I was able to get two of the actual drawer boxes put together and then all of the drawers except for putting in the the bottom and the back piece because these needed to be hammered in and it was just going to be too loud. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do all that now before I bring up the pieces to the third one. It's going to be another I'm going to have to open the box, take the pieces up. It's just too freaking it's it's not that it's too heavy. I've been going to the gym. I was able to lift it. It's just an awkward size for somebody with like, you know, short arms. Had my If my husband was home, he would have been able to get it up there. This is this awesome freaking cat bed that I just kept going back and forth on. I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it. In the hopes that she'll stop laying in front of where I film and maybe she'll use it. She came in here and laid right next to it and just kind of gave me a dirty look and was like, I don't want your bed. So we're going to see what goes on with that. I got my laptop plugged in. going to go ahead and keep cruising through Criminal Minds and putting some stuff together. Like I said, I'm just going to kind of come up here for 20 minutes, do some stuff, go wipe down a bathroom, come up, do some more, go switch the laundry, stuff like that. Put my comfy pants on and I am. Okay, update guys. I already filmed this on my phone and turned out it cut off halfway through so we're gonna do this again. So I got everything put together. This bookshelf used to be right there. It was like two inches too narrow so I went ahead and sort of shifted everything over so the bookcase went from here to here. The wide Alex drawer is now over here behind me. So this is the door where you come into my room, bookcase, walk-in closet with my shelves and then I am not making any determination on what's going to happen with this gap right now. It, As of right now, it's not bothering me. I'm kind of just mentally done with this project. Um, it looks good, but <laughs> uh, I'm tired. So 
Again, these are the regular Alex units, not the one with the file drawer on the bottom. So here is one, there's the second one, and then this is the longest Linman. Basically, I was stuck with the two sizes that they had in the sense of there's two different depths. So in the depth that I needed to match up with the corner, you only had a long and a short. So I went with the long, which is over here where my camera hangs out and I film. And um, right now I don't have the leg, like there's a center leg that you put in here. It feels somewhat supportive until you really, really start pushing, but I don't really get that aggressive when I'm like doing anything over there, like maybe some punching, but I don't, I'm going to see how it goes. If I notice that it's bowing or it just doesn't feel right, I'm going to go ahead and put the leg in there. I was hoping that the leg would actually attach like on the back, but it's actually more in the center. So I may just kind of go ahead and set it there and then sit in a chair and see how bad my legs bump. And then, um, I was just now noticing that my, so my camera mounts up here on, on this thing and it just kind of stays up there. I had to take it off to use it to film this. And then I keep it plugged in. So my cord kind of goes down and before it just went behind my desk. Well, I, for some reason was thinking that this was like had the little cutout, like the corner one. It doesn't, but I think I might be able to just squeeze the cord through there. I'm hoping. Um, so you go from Alex to Alex to the corner Linman to the third Alex and then the support leg in the back. And then this one does have a little cord thing. So this is where my desktop is going to go back. I actually like working in the corner. I like typing in the corner. I like having it over there in the corner, which was sort of, this was the starting point of where I was figuring out what I wanted to do in here. Uh, and then this is the shorter length of the Linman that is the same depth. So it's just resting on that and it's got the two supports and then the wide Alex got scooted over here with my printer. It fits with a little bit of wiggle room so it may end up staying there. We're going to kind of see. Uh, this, I was kind of struggling getting stuff like this to line up because it does just rest on there and the Alex is just sitting on carpet. I took the feet off because I they were falling off left and right when I was trying to scoot it on the carpet. This one, I probably spent 20 minutes just trying to get this lined up as best as I could. I mean, I'm not gonna be doing any work right here on, on the butt cracks and stuff, but I would get it you know, lined up on this side and then I would go down there and I'd line it up on that side. Hi, Gabby and just back and forth and it's not lining up. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. Gabby, come in, over here. Okay, we're gonna go around her. My, see how the wall touches right here? And only right here, this wall bows out. So the whole time that I'm, you know, I'm trying to get it lined up, I'm basically seesawing on a curve the whole time. So that was irritating. But I think I still, I have to do the, little cord keeper thing that I bought, um, whatever this thing is called, Rama, something like that. Basically you put your power strip in there and you put all your cords in there. It looked cool in the store so it came home with me. Uh, I am probably going to take for sure a few days off before I even start putting anything away or organizing, anything like that. I knew that this situation was going to happen, which, okay, so pretty much I designed my setup around this. I wanted a long desk to film at, and I wanted a flat surface in front of that window for that. My $20 cat bed, I'm hoping if I just kind of leave it up here, that maybe someone will decide to actually get in it. Probably not knowing her though. So I think for now, I am going to just go ahead and vacuum. Uh, Go ahead and spray everything down, wipe it, go ahead and clean the window while I don't have anything on the desk and just kind of take care of that. Probably mount my camera, put my desktop back together, and then take a break and come back and start figuring out what I want to put in these drawers and then what I want to put in house in the closet and on this shelf. So this is probably going to end this phase of my room and I, again, appreciate you guys stopping by and I will catch you in a future video. Bye.